Okay, uh, the first question about linear regression we want to ask is what does the solution mean geometrically? We saw that the linear regression problem solution W star is x x transpose inverse or pseudo inverse x y, right? So, uh, but what does it mean? Let me put pseudo inverse only. But how can we interpret this geometrically, right? So, how can we um, interpret this quantity geometrically? Well, for that, um, we will take a very simplified example and then try to understand this geometrically, but then the uh, that is just because you know you, you will want to visualize certain things, we want to restrict the uh, dimensionality, but then whatever we are talking about will eventually can be generalized for the higher dimension as well. Uh, for this purpose, we are going to treat um, our D, the number of features as 2 and the number of data points as 3. Let us say we just have 3 points and then 3 people and, and for each of them we are just measuring the height and weight, 2 features. That is the setting we are in. Now, um, what I want you to consider is a 3 dimensional space, um, let us draw that, maybe a 3 dimensional space like this, um, where the first vector that we will have. Um, let us say points in this direction and I will say what this vector is. Let us call it f 1, this is a 3 dimensional vector. Um, the second vector points in this direction, this is let us say f 2, which is also a 3 dimensional vector. Now, note that you know if I plot points, the data points, if I try to plot that, then each data point is a 2 dimensional point. So, I would plot them in a 2 dimensional data set. Here I am not plotting the data points, let me make that very clear. I am plotting 3 dimensional vectors. Now, what are these 3 dimensional vectors I am interested in? Well, my data set is like this, right? So, x1, x2, x3 and then I have height and I have weight to 3 people whose height and weight I have measured. Now, I am going to call the height as feature 1, weight as feature 2, which means that the height of all the people put together is a 3 dimensional vector in general an n dimensional vector. A weight of all people put together is f 2 which is again a 3 dimensional vector in general an n dimensional vector. What I am plotting here are just those 2 guys. Okay. Uh, so, when I say f 1 is in R 3, these 3 components corresponds to the height of 3 people, f 2 is in R 3, 3 components corresponds to the weight of 3 people. Um, now, now, I also have the labels of each of this, right? So, there is a y also sitting with this y 1, y 2, y 3, one label for each data point, which is also a 3 dimensional vector, which means I can plot my y also here, maybe my y is sitting here. This is my y, which is uh, which is also in R 3. <coughs> now, I want to understand what is it, what is happening here, right? So, in terms of regression. Um, one way to think of this is I have my height feature and the weight feature. Now, let us say I take this point, right. So, maybe this point is 3 times f 1 plus 2.5 times f 2, right. So, this this vector is some vector which is some combination of the height and weight. Uh, maybe there is a vector here which is uh, I do not know minus 5 times f 1 plus 3 times f 2. I am just giving these numbers uh, arbitrarily. I mean they may not exactly correspond to these locations, but that is the main point is that I can you know any put any number combine these numbers um, and I can get linear combinations of these 2 vectors. Now, um, there is also, so basically as I change these linear combinations I get different vectors. Now, there is there might be like an entire subspace or entire plane a 2 dimensional plane sitting in this 3 dimensional space, um, which can be which can be thought of as the plane that is spanned by these 2 vectors f 1 and f 2, right. So, that plane may be is, this, is somewhere here, right. So, this is the entire plane. So, every time I take a linear combination uh, some a times f 1 plus some constant b times f 2, I am going to get some point in this plane, right. So, this is a plane, uh, let me make that. So, this is some plane here. 
Now, what I also have is a special point on this plane um, where you know the this point which is a special point on this plane this is on the plane which can also be gotten as a linear combination of f1 and f2 but it is special because it minimizes the distance of my label to this plane in other words i am taking my label vector y right so this is the label and then i am projecting in or project projecting it onto the subspace spanned by the uh, feature vectors right so i am taking all possible linear combinations of the features and then looking for that way to combine height and weight which gives me a point which is closest to my label right so because i want to explain my label as some combination of height and weight and then i am trying to see if there is a point which is which gets me as close to y as possible it's not necessary that y will be on this plane right so y can be anywhere out, outside this plane also in which case i am trying to find points in this plane which which best explains y in some sense right um, now because of the fact that okay so so now how can i understand this point right so this is the question so how can i understand this point which is closest now first thing is by the virtue of the fact that this is on the plane it is some linear combination of f1 and f2 right so this is some um, alpha star 1 f1 plus alpha star 2 f2 it is some alpha star 1 and alpha star 2 real numbers uh, which whose combination gives me this point which means i can write this as you know f1 um, f2 into alpha star 1 uh, sorry i should write this this way um, f1 f2 alpha star 1 alpha star 2 this is exactly this linear combination that will get me this which means i can so now this matrix which is a matrix of features is what we are exactly thinking of you know having uh, x as rows which means this is just x transpose alpha star for some alpha star so this point is x transpose alpha star for some alpha star I do not know what the alpha star is at, but then there is some alpha star which will get me closest to, to y. Now, by closest to I am saying I am taking y and projecting it onto the space which means that there is a 90 degree angle that gets formed between this x transpose alpha star and the perpendicular that takes me to y. Right. So, what does that mean? That means that by the virtue of the fact that x transpose alpha star is the closest point, um, the following should hold. So, this is y, I am just zooming in on to these vectors only, this is x transpose alpha star. So, now what would this vector look like? Well, this vector is pointing in the perpendicular to the plane um, which is y minus x transpose alpha star. The thing that I should add to x alpha star, x transpose alpha star to get to y, right. So, what I am saying now is that these two guys are perpendicular which means uh, orthogonal which means y minus x transpose alpha star transpose x transpose alpha star should be 0. This should happen right. Um, now this simply means that y transpose x transpose alpha star I am just multiplying it out minus alpha star transpose x x transpose alpha star equals 0. Right, so it should satisfy this condition. Whatever this alpha star is, it should satisfy this condition. Now we know that, you know, we our solution W star uh, is x x transpose pseudo inverse x y. Recall this. Right, so this is something that we saw by solving the uh, linear regression problem. Um, now the question is, well, now substituting, let's say. I want to see how does w, does w star satisfy this equation that is the question I am asking uh, which means that if I substitute substituting w star equals alpha star on LHS uh, we get um, you know y transpose x transpose now we know what is w star which is xx transpose pseudo inverse xy minus xx transpose pseudo inverse xy xx transpose x the whole transpose xx transpose pseudo inverse xy right so it's just tedious to write this but then all i'm doing is i know a closed form for w star i know 
an equation that alpha should, should satisfy and I am just trying to check if w star satisfies this equation right. Um, now we can argue and I will let you do this I mean carefully that this is actually 0 right. Uh, one thing that you would want to use is uh, you would want to use x x transpose is symmetric somewhere right. So, some of its transpose will be the same use this to show that this is actually 0. What does this tell us? This is basically telling us that well the point that is closest to, to y that is spanned by our features is in fact x transpose w star right. So, that is that is precisely the conclusion that we are drawing. Uh, that is the geometric interpretation. The conclusion geometrically is then the following right. Uh, x transpose w star is the projection of the labels onto the subspace spanned by the features this is the geometric interpretation right so i, I have a w star with me well how do i interpret it it's geometrically well if you take the labels project it onto the span, subspace spanned by the features that point depends on w star it is actually x transpose w star right so that is precisely the um, that is precisely the uh, solution that is precisely the geometric view with which you can understand linear regression. All you are doing is projections of labels onto the subspace spanned by the features. Of course, if W belongs to this uh, you know plane already then the projection of uh, sorry if Y belongs to this plane already it is not sticking out of this plane but it uh, belongs to the plane already then its projection onto the plane is itself right. So, the closest point in the plane it is itself um, and you can think about when would that happen right. So, think of it as an exercise when what does it mean to say that y is actually on this plane. Now, what does it mean to say uh, in terms of the error that we have put down right. So, if you try to connect it via the equations also or if you can look at it geometrically also it should be clear. Uh, what does it mean to say that you know y belongs to this plane? I leave that as an exercise, uh, but then this is the main geometric uh, intuition as to what uh, linear regression is. So, we set out to ask a lot of questions. The first question was the about the geometry of uh, the solution and this is what that is. We will answer the other questions in the following videos. Thank you.